Natalia Moschina, yep. and she's going to talk about the breast cancer screening program in the country of Norway. Yes. Okay. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. And I'll try to make it comfortable. Um, and today I will speak about the Norwegian Breast Cancer Screen Program, its management and performance. And before I start, uh, I would like to acknowledge. Is it okay? Yep. Uh, can you adjust if it's possible? And uh, uh, before I start, I would like to acknowledge uh, the head of the Norwegian Breast Cancer Screen Program, Solvi Kofin, and the Cancer Registry of Norway uh, for the provided information. And uh, I would speak uh, about the organization of the program uh, and the Norwegian Breast Cancer Screen Program as a population-based screen program funded by the Norwegian government. And I would like to speak also about the performance measures uh, of the program. So, uh, the program is a property of the health authorities of uh, Norway and uh, it is administered by the Cancer Registry of Norway and the screen and follow-up is performed by health trusts. Um, uh, the program consists of three, 30 screening units and uh, uh, 15 breast centers. And on this map of Norway we can see uh, blue and uh, red dots, and blue dots correspond to screening units and red dots correspond to uh, breast clinics. Uh, we also have four mobile screening units, these are four buses traveling throughout the whole country, and women uh, are able to participate in screening even from the remote rural areas. Um, the Norwegian Breast Cancer Screen Program is um, controlled and uh, several instances uh, conduct the control. Um, technical co quality control is performed by the no um, National um, Radiation Protection Authority. Uh, the program is run according to the European guidelines and there is a special national quality assurance manual as well and several uh, advisory and research and quality assurance groups uh, which meet and discuss um, the problems and the possibility for development of the program. Uh, by now, more than 100 publications uh, uh, were done by the program. Here is the most important, probably, slide, uh, the information technology system uh, in the Norwegian Breast Cancer Screen Program. Um, we have four main units which um, interact, communicate uh, very closely, and uh, the Cancer Registry of Norway is um, the main administrator here. Uh, the invitations uh, to women aged 50, 69 uh, who are invited to screen mammography every second year. Uh, the invitations um, are um, created as a soft copy, a copy at the Cancer Registry of Norway and sent to the post of Norway where they are printed and sent. So each woman uh, at the age group, uh, uh, 50, 69 years, uh, each woman um, receive a letter of invitation with stated time and place of mammography. And uh, these women, if uh, they choose to participate, um, uh, they are met at the screening unit uh, where the mammography is performed. But in addition to um, this two-view mammography, women are interviewed by the radiographers. Um, and uh, some personal information uh, as well as uh, possibility to find out some clinical signs. Uh, every, all this information is transferred to the breast clinics where um, radiologists uh, perform interpretation reading of uh, mammograms. Breast clinics, um, after performing um, independent double reading uh, and consensus, the consensus meeting is gathered. In case of positive mammogram uh, and positive sign is given by one of two radiologists um, reading the mammograms. The consensus meeting uh, consists of several radiologists and they decide whether to recall or not um, each particular woman. Uh, 
if the decision is made and um, it is considered that the woman has, uh, has totally normal mammograms, uh, the information is uh, sent to the Cancer Registry of Norway, and the Cancer Registry of Norway um, transfer this data to uh, transfer this data to the post of Norway, and the women uh, receive uh, their results in the envelopes by the post. Um, uh, in case uh, if they have normal mammograms and do not have any suspicious findings. In case uh, of suspicious findings, uh, it is breast clinics who are responsible uh, uh, for um, informing the women. Uh, and uh, there is a special letter uh, that is sent to each woman uh, with a positive findings uh, sent by the breast clinic to these women and uh, again we state uh, the place and time uh, for further investigation and further investigation usually implies uh, ultrasound, MRI and even biopsy depending on the case. Here is uh, here are four steps of screen mammography in Norway. Uh, how the woman would see that. Um, the woman comes to the screening unit uh, and uh, there she is met by the radiographer who performs an interview and finds out uh, personal information and uh, um, uh, gets the information from the questionnaire as well uh, up, up till until 2000. 16 in Norway we had a special questionnaire on breast cancer risk factors and uh, that gave us a lot of uh, information for uh, future research. So after a conversation with the radiographer uh, the woman uh, come, goes to the mammography itself and two radiographers perform this mammography. Uh, then, after that, uh, the, the images are transferred to breast clinics where the radiographers uh, perform the reading. Uh, as I have told, the consensus meeting is uh, gathered. Uh, people uh, who are um, very experienced breast radiologists uh, discuss the cases of positive mammograms and uh, transfer the results to the uh, Cancer Registry of Norway uh, within 30 days. Uh, as a result of all this collaboration between four main units, Cancer Registry, Post of Norway, uh, Screen Units and uh, Breast Clinics, uh, the Norwegian Breast Cancer Screen Program uh, gets the information, receives very important information regarding invitations, attendance, recall, both um, in terms of radiology and pathology, as well as information from the questionnaire uh, on breast cancer risk factors. Uh, the um, Cancer Registry of Norway provides the regions of Norway uh, with special databases uh, which are very important to uh, look at the quality assurance and the different regions of counties can uh, compare themselves to others. However, the most important result of all uh, this integration is a, a consolidated database, and this is the Norwegian Breast Cancer uh, Screen Program database, which is located at the Cancer Registry of Norway and uh, gather all, gathers all the information from the regional databases and used for analysis uh, of the screening data. Thanks to this database, we can perform different types of quality assurance and research. Um, and that is why the next part of my talk will be mostly on uh, performance indicators in the Norwegian breast cancer screen programs, including attendance, recall rates, uh, rates of screen detected breast cancer, internal cancer, and uh, um, using linkage to the Cancer Registry of Norway, it's also possible to perform research on mortality, which is really important for the Norwegian breast cancer screen program. So this slide shows the attendance uh, by age groups uh, in the period 2006 to 2014. Uh, here you can see that women age 60 plus uh, are attending screen program um, a bit better and uh, uh, the attendance rates uh, vary from 70 to 80 percent. When we look at different Norwegian counties, uh, we have 19 counties um, the attendance rate, uh, the an average attendance rate is about 74% throughout uh, the period uh, 2008 to 2015.
Uh, here are the results uh, on the recall rates in the Norwegian Breast Cancer Screen Program. Uh, women could be recalled, most often uh, they are recalled due to positive mammographic findings. However, it can happen that uh, the finding can be clinical, uh, or uh, whether the woman comes with complaints or uh, the radiographer finds out that there are clinical signs uh, at mammography. Uh, another point is uh, um, technically unsatisfactory images. Uh, the amount of technically unsatisfactory images uh, has been sufficiently um, reduced, and this happened due to digitalized uh, soft uh, equipment in the Norwegian Breast Cancer Screening Program, and full digitalization had been completed in 2011. Uh, the um, average recall rate in this period was about 3%, and I mean the recall rate due to positive mammographic findings. Uh, the rate of screen detected breast cancer in the period 2006 to 2013 was uh, um, 5.2 per 1,000 women. Uh, and under the screen detected breast cancer in Norway, we mean both invasive can uh, breast cancer and ductal carcinoma in situ. And it is about one, uh, yes, uh, 0 0.9 per 1,000 women. Uh, the data, the consolidated database, allows uh, us to calculate as well, um, the, uh, and the Cancer Registry of Norway, of course, the rates of interval breast cancer. And the average rate for the period 2006 to 2011 was uh, about 17 uh, per 10,000 women, uh, screened women, which is quite low, and we consider it a good result. Uh, and uh, at the end of my talk, I would like uh, to say a few word about, words about a uh, study on mortality reduction. The recent study was performed in 2013 uh, by Hofwin. Uh, uh, the study population um, included women uh, born in 1927 to 1959 and invited to the program in the period uh, 1996 to 2009. Uh, uh, we use several exclusion criteria, and as a result, about 700,000 women were included in the study on mortality, on breast cancer mortality. Here are the um, study design. Uh, we tried to uh, divide women uh, in, into uh, two cohorts, screened and non-screened cohort, and the information was used from invitations. So screened women were invited women, participated in screening, and uh, it comprised about 5 million women years, whereas women who were invited but did not participate uh, were non-screened uh, cohort, and that was about 1 million uh, women years. Uh, after that, uh, the uh, malignancies uh, located in the breast were indicated, detected, and um, analyzed. Uh, while linking the mm, uh, Norwegian Breast Cancer Screen Program data with data uh, from the Cancer Registry of Norway, uh, we could also uh, find uh, information about breast cancer deaths in the period of screen. Uh, here it's 1996 to 2010. Uh, this slide shows crude breast cancer mortality rates uh, amongst uh, screened and non-screened cohorts in Norway uh, during the study period. And uh, already here we can see that uh, a screen cohort has lower rates when it comes to uh, cumulative um, breast cancer mortality rates, uh, the difference is even more visible. However, I would like to um, Stop also on the crude mortality rate ratio, uh, which was calculated as um, uh, the um, uh, mortality rate for screened women divided uh, to mortal by mor uh, mortality rate of the women in non screen cohorts. We found out that uh, 20.7 per 100,000 women years. Uh, was the mortality uh, rate uh, for screened women and 39.7 for a non-screen cohort. And the mortality rate ratio for the screened women uh, was accounted as 0 0.52. However, after adjusting for several 
factors as calendar period attained, age, uh, self-selection bias and others. Uh, we concluded with the mortality rate ratio for screened women, 0.57, which means that the mortality reduction associated with the attendance in the Norwegian breast cancer screen program is 43%. So women who are screened, who attend the screening, have 43% lower breast cancer mortality than women who do not attend uh, the breast uh, cancer screening program. And that was what I wanted to finish uh, with. And uh, I would just, I hope that uh, this is a good example uh, of the screening program. And uh, the study on mortality reduction is a really important issue in Norway since uh, questions of uh, continuing or discontinuing the breast cancer screen are a hot topic at the moment. Thank you very much. And any questions? So, thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, there was one question from the floor. Yeah. You put your. Oh, no, you're okay. Yeah, please. Thank you very much. Uh, can you hear me? 43 is an impressive figure. At the beginning, when you start screening, the incidence goes up. How long did it take uh, from the beginning of screening till the reduction of mortality rate? I'll answer in Russian because I want everyone to understand that correctly. The program started in 1996 um, up to 2009. All the data was collected which means that uh, it lasted almost uh, 20 years. So 15, it's like a generation of women. Yes, generation. We had uh, a problem that the previous uh, research on mortality rate uh, did not contain full data. We had to wait uh, for 15 years to make the next research. Uh, it was impossible to make a precise research uh, before that uh, time passed. One more question. May I ask you? Do I understand it correctly that patient receives the result uh, uh, in a letter? How is it uh, like a a car comes, uh, you make an image, and then uh, she opens an email, and uh, she gets an email, uh, and she, it's written there that she has cancer and she has to come to a doctor. It's a very difficult psychological situation. We don't do it like that. It's a very difficult psychological thing to tell it to a patient. Um, it's a really Big question to our country, too. We have just uh, started our research about uh, uh, psychological state of a woman who receives uh, information about a positive mammography. It means that she has uh, some problems indeed. But uh, I guess the mentality of Norwegian women is a bit different. Uh, they take this information, they perceive it quite in a quite uh, calm way. They really receive it um, per post and they can call a medical center at any time. They can talk to doctors and radiologists. Uh, support is provided as soon as they receive a letter. They get not only uh, results, they get contact information so they can contact uh, support service at any moment. Thank you very much. Uh, I have uh, some questions, but uh, I would like to have short answers. Uh, do you develop uh, risk groups, inherited cancer, like uh, are they examined once in two years or more often? Okay. How should I answer? How should I explain it to you? At this stage, uh, all the women from 50 to 69 years old, they in receive the same invitations, and the system is same for everyone. However, there is an opportunity 
to make it more often, it's not a state program, but a lady can choose a, a full examination, for example, of uh, blood and uh, markers. And the result of that, uh, they receive information markers related to breast cancer. And then they can make a mammography independently when they want it. And general practitioner can also advise to undergo screening every year, but there is no individualization in this regard. We are still working on it, and we truly hope that we will have an opportunity to implement it in real life. So once a year, Mammography once a year is not in the insurance. No, it's not. Unfortunately, no. But ladies in Norway are aware about their opportunities. They are aware about uh, possible consequences uh, if uh, a cancer is not determined at early stage. Understanding that uh, there is a state screening program offering screening only once in two years, uh, and sometimes they go to private clinical centers, um, hospitals on their own, and do what they have to do. It's not such a big issue for Norwegian ladies because uh, they are free and their choice and can do what they want. Yeah. К сожалению, практически никакого. И это тоже тяжелый вопрос. И буквально год назад после... А uh, year ago, after the, the program was a quality assessed, so the quality assessment showed that women 70 to 75 must be screened as well because our program stops at 69. And if the state will provide financing for the group screening that we will offer it, unfortunately, at the moment, uh, they are not covered by the national nation screening. However, this is a, um, a good uh, group because they've been screened when they were 60 to 69 and they regularly see their doctors if uh, they have a risk and uh, most often they go for an independent mammography and my question is about uh, a curiosity I'm, I'm curious you have just four automobiles for the whole of Norway I mean four automobiles are for remote areas but in small towns and and uh, even um, settlements we have screening units where we have x-ray specialists for mammography and then everything is uh, computerized and computerized and sent to hospitals with um, ray x-ray specialists who can interpret the images and my very last question my very last question if i mean 30 percent which are outside of the screening what is their motivation why they refuse to screen one of the major problems for mammography is pain because it's a painful examination and uh, we are looking what can be done here I think there were probably other questions that other people would like to ask, but um, I will hand over to my co-chair who wants to make some um, uh, some remarks. Do I have uh, any things to say? Well, if you claim that I have things to say, I will say the following. So, in fact, we saw a very diverse, uh, like, patchwork of situations across different countries. In some, uh, the screening programs are more structured uh, than in others. It depends on the number of territories, population, capacity, financing for health care. But I can see a general trend, however. Let's look at Taiwan and uh, Norway. The better information systems are used in the healthcare, the more quality we have in the screening program. That's my general outcome. Colleagues, do you have any other comments? Then, 
some of you may have uh, some statements uh, or want to have a discussion uh, with regard to the issues which we've just looked at. Do we have uh, anything to discuss? If not, then I would like to say that in all three presentations we heard, the speakers touched upon individualized or personalized screening. And this is just a beginning of this category. But little by little, all countries start to develop it. And it is similar to how it uh, uh, the development of cancer treatment uh, was progressing. And now we have the trend, a similar trend in cancer screening. And probably it will stay for the next 10 years and more. Uh, the improvement of IT will help improving cancer screening. And I think we can close this session for now. Thank you, colleagues.